What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. iOS 16.3 is out. Um, was trying to work on uh, seeing about reinstalling, not reinstalling iOS, but doing a soft downgrade to 16.2 from 16.3 because I was looking at a eSIM situation that I was curious Sweet. about, but that backfired. So we're using the 11 to record and we'll try to cover as much as we can. Uh, excuse the technical issues. So came in at 612 megabytes on this iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's in the setup 60%. screen. Here we are. 55%. And we'll get through this. New Unity Wallpaper honors Black History and Culture in celebration of Black History Month. New Unity Wallpaper for Black History Month. Also on watchOS 9.3, it is new watch faces. So we're, we're going to merge iOS and watchOS kind of together in this video. Bullet. Security keys for Apple ID allow users to strengthen the security of their account by requiring a physical security key as part of the two-factor authentication sign-in process on new devices. So the new uh, security key, which is an extra layer to two-step verification on iOS devices, covers macOS, iOS, iPadOS, and if you really want to go a step further, watchOS, but it really doesn't... Uh, it's not really a big deal with this watch. It's more on the um, iPadOS and iOS. Support for HomePod, second generation. I have the HomePod Mini over here, which I'll do the video on that. They'll be at the end of this video. But um, support now if you're planning on buying a second generation big HomePod, not the HomePod Mini. Bullet. Emergency SOS calls now require holding the side button with the up or down volume button and then releasing in order to prevent an advertent emergency calls. So you need to hold down uh, volume up or volume down and press the side button as this stated to do a uh, emergency SOS call. Okay. Emergency SOS calls now require holding the side button with the up or down volume button and then releasing in order to prevent an advert. And releasing it to prevent uh, an accident emergency SOS call to emergency responders. Bullet. Fixes an issue in freeform where some drawing strokes created with Apple Pencil or your finger may not appear on shared boards. So on shared boards, your uh, drawings via your finger on the iPhone or on the iPad and Apple Pencil uh, were not showing correctly. This has been fixed in this update. Bullet. Addresses an issue where the wallpaper may appear black on the lock screen. Addresses an issue on iPhones where the wallpaper would uh, appear black Brandon Butch was having this problem, and a few other people were having this problem. Bullet fixes an issue where horizontal lines may temporarily appear while waking up iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, temporarily, uh, lines would appear horizontally across the display on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This was seen on Reddit. So, yay, glad Apple's actually looking at Screen things him. and uh, taking notes on th issues that appear on the iPhones and trying to fix them via software updates. Bullet fixes an issue where the home lock screen widget does not accurately display home app status. So I don't use the home widget on my lock screen yet, but if I did and it was not updating accurately, that, that would annoy me, and I'm glad that's fixed. Bullet addresses an issue where Siri may not respond properly to music requests. Siri may not respond properly to music requests. I did have that problem throughout iOS. Uh, 16, and I believe I've had it in 15 a few times, but it's gotten worse. I'm glad to see that hopefully being permanently fixed for me. Bullet. Resolves issues where Siri requests in CarPlay may not be understood correctly. List end. Okay, so my mom uses CarPlay, and that'll be a good welcoming feature for her. Some features may not be available. And of course, on watchOS and every other device, it says these features may not be available on all devices or in all regions. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. So I did look at the home app and was trying to update the software. Apparently, it was able to update the um, home uh, new matter accessory or whatever nonsense. My home setup is completely broken. I don't know what broke it over the winter break of... Me not doing anything since mid-November or mid-December, everything is broken. But it is not showing 16.3 as of now. And um, therefore, I can't look at what's new in the home app. Um, I appreciate everyone for watching. I've tried my best here and I've been fighting with this thing. And, you know, if I get it working, I'll show you all this weekend in my follow-up on iOS 16.3. My thoughts and everything after it's been out to the public and there's no beta gathering data and stuff like that but anyways thank you all so much for watching 
Um, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any feedback, have any suggestions, I'm going to deal with this HomePod mess. I might just reset my HomePods and redo my whole home app because this is like fear rating right now. And I will see y'all in a future video. Peace.